Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. Happy birthday! So, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of September. So, we're just going to see what comes up. We are going to start right here this time. So, what do we have for Virgo for the month of September? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind the timing is still fluid. Not every reading is for you. What do we have for Virgo? One card, please. Engagement. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. That's beautiful. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. However that resonates with you. If you're already married, you know, and you're happily married, you're probably, things are, are just going to continue the way they are. If you are single, you're probably going to get into a commitment. If you're, you know, you've been with somebody for a while, you know, maybe things are going to step it up to the next notch. Whatever it means, you are ascending to a higher level of a commitment. You may be even getting engaged, some of you, or you may be just starting to get together with the person that you are going to be engaged to. We're just going to get a couple of these um, for these round cards. I'm going to use... Typically, I just put them on the thing, but I don't know. Let's see. What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? Whoop. That was a big old stack. One more card, please. Oh, another month. I got to take it. That was one I picked up. So, what do we have for Virgo? June. June. Something may have happened in June that is coming back around now at this time. Or something could be happening in June of next year. Maybe get married in June. I don't know. But June is very prominent. Something could have happened this June or whatever something to do with the month of June right there ooh bread period of prosperity and abundance and October so October is gonna be a big month for you you see the leaves are flying it's harvest time October is probably going to be a very abundant month for you because we have the abundance. October, you're probably going to be floating. You know, you're going to be very, very, very happy. What I think is that something started in June or you're going to, or your something is going to, maybe you get married in June next year. Um, whatever is happening by October, you are going to be... Uh, abundant in some way you're going to be feeling like you have it all that's that's the way i feel about this so what do we have for virgo five of swords reverse now that's the that could be like the end of conflict at peace Finding peace in a hard, difficult situation. This is peace talks. <laughs> Two of Wands reversed. Now this is needing to make a choice. Needing to make a decision at that crossroads. Feeling indecisive. Making a choice. Making a choice. You're going to be probably all of a sudden, there could be a sudden a sudden choice that is made with the two of wands reversed. This is indecision. It's fear of change, indecisiveness, um, choosing the safe route, not wanting to get engaged, maybe for fear of, you know, getting yourself inside of another battle. Don't really want a battle because this could be the end of a battle, walking away from something. Uh, making a decision to go down that new path. 
So you are making a decision to go down that new path. A decision is being made, for sure. Queen of Swords reversed. Ooh, Queen of Swords. We're talking about September. Now, the Queen of Swords reversed is definitely indecisiveness, lack of clarity. So you're going to maybe confuse this month. You may, you may be... Um, unsure of something i think that you are got your defenses up as well i think that you're a little bit guarded you're you're feeling like you're not sure about something you may be uh a little bit hard to deal with this month you may i think you got some sort of protective mechanism up you know it's like you, you may be being a little bit bitchy because you want to protect yourself. It feels like guarded. What I want to say is guarded. You just want to keep yourself safe. Maybe uh, you've been in some sort of battle and you just you you just like I don't I don't quite dare at this point. Or you're in the middle of a battle right now. <laughs> well, the tower, the tower. Now the tower is a major life change. It's a shock. It's a major disruption in your life. I feel like you're you may be feeling disturbed, especially with that Queen of Swords reversed. If it, that is your energy, that's a feeling of being disturbed. If it's somebody else's, say uh, you're dealing with an ex, okay? Queen of Swords can be an ex in reverse, okay? Or the upright can be an ex. It's somebody that is hard to deal with. You could be dealing with somebody that is jealous of you. This is a bitch, okay? Um, you could be dealing with somebody else's ex that is a bitch. You know, that could be a problem with you. I mean, for you. It could be a problem for you. Somebody could be trying to block you from building a foundation with somebody. It could be your ex. could be their ex. That kind of thing. It could be a stepmother. It could be their own mother. Somebody, whoever this person is, you have somebody. And it could be your energy. It could be anybody. The Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that is hard to deal with. She is hard to love. She causes problems. She's perf She's defensive. She's intense. She's calculating. She's assertive. Okay. And you, and the Queen of Swords in the upright is very independent. So for some of you, if you are independent, you may have a hard time giving up your independence. Okay. That could be an issue as well. This is a shocking change. It's where the universe comes in and forces a change, whether you like it or not. So the tower is a, a major disturbance in your life that breaks down something that forces you to start fresh. Whether that happened in June or, or it happens now, it's happening for a reason. This is a universe card. And what they're trying to do is push you down a new path. But you may be trying to fight it because the Five of Swords is about fighting. So whether you've been dealing, maybe you've been fighting with somebody a lot and there's been a lot of walking on eggshells and it's time to end it. This could be the end of a conflict, but you have to choose to go down that path even if it's painful. Even if, you know, I mean the Tower is a major disruption. It's a shocking life change that some of you may be moving put it that way maybe there's a change in your residence or whatever you may have to be assertive you may you may have to force somebody to move i mean i, I hate to say that to anybody um i don't know where that's coming from either it just came out of my mouth um it feels like there's some sort of fighting going on or bickering that needs to end put it that way um the tower is is uh, could be a fight it could be a fight. It's whatever it is. It's a shock. It's a shocking change, which you may be have been trying to avoid, and you may have been able to avoid it, but you can't avoid it anymore. The universe says, "Okay, it's time. It's time for your life to change. You can't avoid it. You can only protect yourself for so long. It's time." So you may be dealing with a fight this month, and I feel like it's going to be right around the, within the first two weeks of the month. I feel like you're going to, this is explosive energy. It's like things just explode for you. And it may, you may, it may cause you to put your guard up. I think I saw guarded, I guard, guard, that kind of thing. Um, King of Cups. King of Cups is somebody that is very feeling, very loving, very gentle, very kind that uh, may be supporting you. You may have some emotional support from somebody that is very, um, this could be a counselor, it could be a healer, it could be somebody that is very spiritual, a spiritual healer, uh, 
uh, I was going to say a shaman, and I, I don't usually say that, but um, this is somebody that is very, very spiritual, very loving, very feeling, an empath of some sort. It could be a male or a female. I think that you're going to be getting some emotional support from somebody that really has good intentions. So somebody is maybe... Um, I oh I wanted to say falling in love as well. You may be, you may have some sort of um, partner that really 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 supports you through whatever this change is. And I think that you may you're probably going through some sort of turmoil yourself. I think you're going through some sort of turmoil, but you do have some support here. Could be from a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Scorpio in particular. And I wanted to say Scorpio at the very beginning of this reading, but I stopped myself for some reason. It was after I started it, I was probably in these cards when I heard it. Um, Ten of Pentacles reverse. Remember I said forcing somebody to move. This is change of residence. Okay, so I'm not sure if somebody is going to be moving out of your home or you're going to be changing your residence or something like that. The Ten of Pentacles reversed is, it could be a divorce that is coming up or a loss of a financial status, okay, um loss of a home even I'm not I don't know if that's the case but this is a financial disaster it's short-lived success and that could even be a fear this is a huge loss it's losing it all and I'm not saying that you are maybe maybe that's where you were at in the past because it, whatever the case is the ten of pentacles reversed is it's an unstable business life or unstable home life you could it feels like you may be living with somebody that is causing you problems and I don't know who this person is. And he even could be a neighbor, you know. Or there's somebody in the family that is causing you problems. Could be your, your girlfriend or your boyfriend's mother or mother-in-law or ex or something like that. Um, this Ten of Pentacles reversed is, is short-lived success, change of residence. Um, false impressions and this is false impressions as well so there's some sort of falseness here somebody is putting on some sort of false impressions I don't know if it's this king of cups I think that you definitely do need to be careful uh, I don't feel like it is this person though I don't I feel like there is some it could be there is some, this is both false impressions. You could be dealing with somebody who is pretending, this is pretending, and this is too, that they are financially secure. This is a lover. This person is very uh, loving, okay? They have a big heart, but then they may say, you know, all the right words. The King of Cups is a very smooth talker. So I think that you do need to be careful. I think that you need to be careful. Could be a counselor, okay? Could be somebody that you trust, and I... You know, or maybe you don't trust him with the Queen of Swords reversed. Um, maybe you you got some sort of inclination that you're dealing with somebody, you know, that says all the right things. And I do feel like you need to be careful. I think that light is going to be shed on a situation in your life that is going to shock you. You're going to receive, um, it's like lightning strikes all of a sudden and things explode with an individual that you thought, and it must be a thought, you thought was a lover. Two of Pentacles, Page of Wands reversed, Three of Wands reversed, unprepared not prepared you are not prepared for whatever for this major disruption and i'm not trying to scare you i am virgo rising okay you're not that three of wands reverse is not prepared okay that is no vision not seeing the opportunities not seeing it as it is you may have missed something Page of Wands reverse is somebody that is very negative, very pessimistic, always has something mean to say, isn't very nice, uh, does things without thinking. You could also be dealing with a child. You, this is The Page of Wands could be a child or somebody that is younger than you that causes problems in your home. 
Now, I don't know who this child is, but it could be, I don't know if it's a child or not. It could be a sibling. Um, the pay, it could be a, somebody, just somebody that is young. It could be even at work. It doesn't have to be at home because of this Ten of Pentacles. It can be work or home. Okay, this is somebody, it could be somebody you work with. But the, whoever this person is, this person is immature. They are childish. They don't have anything good to say. They probably have some sort of jealousy issues. I feel like there's definitely going to be a change. There's either going to be a change in your work or there's going to be a change in your home life. Okay, and you don't see it coming. There's going to be an explosion or a major explosion or a major disruption where, you know, there's been some, somebody hasn't been being honest. They haven't been being truthful and things explode. It's like an, it's an abrupt, uh, 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 what's that when a volcano erupts? That kind of thing. You know, that kind of thing. Um, and which causes a change. This is a change, okay? It is. You're gonna be, and this is you. You're gonna be probably juggling with this change. You're probably gonna ha going back and forth with what you're gonna do about this. Um, I think you're dealing. I think this stems from another individual's actions. It's a fire sign: Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's an Air Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that acts impulsively. This person acts impulsively and they, it causes some sort of change for you. Okay? It just messes up everything for you. Um, it's probably going to make really piss you off. Put it that way. Um, two of Pentacles. This is um, juggling. A profit and a loss. This is earthly powers that are larger than yourself, that are realignment. And this is a realignment as well. So things are realigning for you. You're going to have to rebuild. You're going to have to rebuild a foundation, whether it's your work or your home or something like that. Now, the Page of Wands reverse is, is, is really... Um, It's a setback. You are going to be experiencing a setback in September. But it is this loss leads to a profit because this is a profit and a loss. So whatever this setback is, it, 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 it's a fight of some sort. You you're going to be fighting with somebody. And the, it and it's like you you lose that person but you gain something better. What are you gaining from this? What are you gaining from this? What is Virgo gaining from this? Ha! Ace of Pentacles reversed. So by letting something go, by letting something go, you're gaining. You're get letting something go that isn't stable, that isn't solid, that isn't real. You, whoever this person is, you're going to be letting go of somebody. Maybe. You're, but it's it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult because of this tower. Is tower is difficult. It's a difficult situation. This is this is something big. You're losing something. You're it's like it's like it's being taken away. And it's because of instability. It's instability. There's insecurity. It's not secure. But there's a profit that comes out of this. Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is about hard work, planning, profit. It's a it's a gain. It's actually a gain. Whatever this is, you may start your own. You may start your own, go your own way, start your own business. Now, this is hard work. You're going to have to put in, you're going to have to work, 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 work. You're going to be working. You're going to be work, 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 work in this month. Working on something. Working on building up your security on your own. So this month's going to be a working month for you.
Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is, to me, it's about investment. It's about relocation. It's time to go. There's nothing left. Nothing, there's no, you, you can't, you can't fit anymore in here. You got to go someplace else. It's time to go someplace else. You may, whatever this loss is, it may give you the freedom to go someplace else. I think you've been thinking about it. Now it's time. You're probably going to be working. For some of you, it's working someplace else. Or it's living someplace else. Or somebody that is living with you is going to be living someplace else. This is a sudden departure or a sudden arrival. October, you're going to reap some, some sort of reward for all the hard work that you are doing. But that is in October. I feel like this month is going to be work, 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 work. September, working on, you know, your stability. I think there's insecurities here. There is. There's instability and there's insecurity. And there's financial instability. There's financial instability. Uh, there's uh, work problems you know, career problems where you're going to be working to regain, to regain the, you know, to bring the finances back up or whatever the case is, working hard, 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 focused on your job. Um, but I, this is unprepared. You know, for some of you, you may be unprepared for love. You may have your defenses up. You just want to be left alone. You got to freaking work. And, you know, you got this lover here who's looking for some attention. So, I don't know who that is for. But you may have, you may, you know, you're not prepared. You're not seeing that you got somebody here that loves you. And I do believe that you do. Um, I do feel like you, you're going to be dealing with a, I think you're going to be dealing with two shocks this month. We got two and then we have the shock. And I, I do. I think it's two different things. And I'm sorry to say that. But because this is a profit and a loss. It's like you're losing one thing, but you're gaining another, which is interesting. So I think it's like, so that's what I see. It's, it's definitely, a pro, it's, it's two shocks this month. I know that it is. So... Some of you are dealing with a Leo because I just wanted to say Leo. You may be losing a Leo, and I don't know who this Leo is. Um, I don't know where that's coming from. But anyhow, um, two of wands reversed is unsure of the road ahead. This is like you're, it's like you're just plopped. Something is plopped right in your lap. It's plopped, you, and you have to make a choice right now, right now. So be prepared for that. Um, I think that this month is... Uh, you're going to have some thinking to do. A lot of thinking. It's a lot of thinking. And it's because life changes. And it's all of a sudden. It's a sudden life change. All of a sudden. And whatever this sudden life change, it impacts your living or your work situation. Big time. Big, 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 big time. May have something to do with children. Totally unprepared for it. Um, judgment reversed. Judgment reversed is... Lack of awareness. Lack of acceptance. Lack of truth. Somebody not telling the truth. You could be dealing with somebody that doesn't tell the truth. Lack of awakening. Not listening to anybody's advice.
poor judgment call. Somebody is making a poor or has made a poor judgment call. And I think their poor judgment call whether it's it could be a, it could be this person up here if it's not you, this Queen of Swords. It could be Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that is nasty. Very selfish, self centered. Somebody has made a poor... And you got Scorpio all over in this reading. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio, but it feels like we got somebody here that isn't telling the truth, that may be saying all the right things, and, you know, they cause a lot of problems for you this month. This is a huge loss of security. Something being taken away. Maybe a, something to do with a counselor. Somebody made a poor judgment call. And there's going to be a huge loss. I don't know who, what the hell this is. But it ends a battle. It ends some sort of fight. And it starts with a fight. It starts with a fight. And then it and then it ends with a fall. One more card. Come on, this is this is uh, is it worth it? Is it worth staying here? Is it worth doing this? Should I do this anymore? This is planning. This is planning. Working hard, putting in effort to regain stability. And I think that's what you're going to be doing. The moon reverse. Truths are going to be revealed. Something is going to be revealed. Somebody's about to get a reality check. And your fear. This is, this is a release of fear. You're dealing with a sneaky individual who has been getting away with something. And I think they're going to, whatever it is, it's like they're, they're going to get caught. Something is a truth, some sort of lie or deception or something. Somebody has been getting away with it and they're going to get caught and it's going to cause a huge loss. And somehow you are going to be impacted. There could be some addictions here as well. We could have somebody here that has a drinking problem or a drug problem, you know, and things go bad. Things go bad. Uh... Seven of Pentacles. That is hard work. Again, hard work to rebuild balance. So you're going to be working hard to recover from this. Which you will recover. This is going to end that battle. Whatever it was. And you're going to be at peace when it's all over. And you are going to have support from somebody, but you also got somebody in your life that is very superficial, okay? You've got somebody here that says all the right things, and it's none of it is true. Anyway, I think that you're gonna your your life is going to go through a major life change that you totally didn't expect, or maybe you did expect it. I mean, that tower is a painful change. They're even, I mean, it's a necessary evil that gives you the opportunity to start with a clean slate. So you will be starting with a clean slate. I think it's by the middle of the month. I would say by the fourteenth, fifteenth, maybe the eighteenth. You may have failed to realize or somebody else failed to realize the truth. But here it comes. It's, no. The truth is the truth and the truth comes out and you can't hide from the truth and the truth here it comes. So there is some sort of major reality check that affects your life in a huge way. And I, unfortunately I think it's a loss. And it's some sort of 
I mean, it's a big loss with the Ace of Pentacles and reversed underneath it. It's huge. Something is being taken away or slipping away and you never saw it coming. It's, it could be job related. So what I was saying is, yeah, I do think that you're going to have a loss. And I think that somebody is about to get a reality check. I think it's a huge one. Uh, before the camera suddenly ended. And when something, when the camera suddenly ends, it's a sudden ending. Okay. That's the way it is. So I feel as though, you know, that's what's going to happen. You are going to have a sudden ending in your life that changes your, changes your whole life. I mean, that's what the tower is. So this is a reality check that you probably needed or somebody in your life needed. But, you know, I wouldn't suggest pointing the finger at somebody else. I think this is for you, okay? I think that there's been a lack of realizing the truth. And you can't you can't deny the, the truth, the falseness. There's a false sense of security under here with that tower. Somebody has been living in a false sense of security and pretending that it's stable. And it's not stable. And I think that unstable structure is about to crumble and I think it's going to crumble when it does crumble it's going to crumble fast and there's no recovery the only way to recover is to rebuild and to invest someplace else and I do think that you're going to be investing someplace else I think that this loss leads to a gain and I think the biggest gain that you are going to gain out of it is peace because you're going to find this is peace remember the first card out I said is peace Okay, you're going to, you are going to have to start over and you're going to have to rebuild, but at least you will be uh, rebuilding in peace. So, um, yeah. So, like I said, there's two shocks. There's two shocks. I think the first shock is, is that you're going to, you're gonna lose something that you didn't expect, and I and it's and that's the universe, the tower's universe. You you don't get to choose, but you're also gonna gain something, and I think it, the gaining, maybe it's self love. I don't know. There's love here. There is. I know that there is. Okay. See that big cup? It's huge. There's a huge amount of love and support for you, even though you know I look at these cards in many different ways, and I can see that you got somebody here that's that's lying. I mean, it's obvious that there is. This person's going to get caught. Somebody made a poor judgment call. Whatever. Maybe they... I don't know. Anyhow, I feel like you do got love here as well. You got somebody here that really, really, really loves you. And I think that your love life is going to ascend to a higher level of commitment with whoever this person is. And I think by October, you will be feeling more at peace. And you won't be, you won't be going through October alone. You know what I'm saying? Good luck.